G'day, it's Jay Thomas 1310. Thanks for joining me out for a motor vlog on my Yamaha R3. So, um, what I'm going to be kind of talking about for this video is a little bit of a follow up on some previous videos where I've yeah, sort of been watching a lot of weird weather occurring around the planet um, and kind of being able to anticipate where you know, where severe storms are going to come, you know, a lot of the hurricanes and cyclones. So, um, you know, you're checking, checking radars and you're sort of able to um, see a fa fair few strange anomalies and these anomalies seem to have been picking up quite, quite a fair bit over the, the past decades, ever since around the probably 2010, 2012 time I was sort of starting to watch a bit more and you know, and start seeing what's going on. There's been very, very strange weather, you know, and, and very quite sudden as well. So, you know, whether that was part of all to do with what the Mayans were tracking with, with, um, you know, the, the 2012 Mayan calendar, you know, not being a doomsday clock, it was actually a sun calendar. You know, the sun affects, affects the planet. You know, we have solar flares, you know, hit near the earth and then it's, you know, we get earthquakes and very big storms and whatnot. So it's you know, all to do with electromagnetics and, you know, the aurora has been seen, you know, further and, you know, just really rare occurrences, they seem to be happening a lot more, more common and just change from normal storms to super storms in an instant. So, um, but I've been watching the radar a fair bit around here, so any of those who regularly watch my videos, I haven't actually put a vlog up for quite a while. So I actually haven't ridden. This is the first time I've ridden in six weeks. So it's, <laughs> the weather's been absolutely ridiculous around here. So it's, yeah, been a bit of a letdown not being able to do that. So it's a nice clear day. Uh, expected to be like that and it was the same yesterday. So I thought I'd be lucky to chance the bike out. But normally it look fine like this. And at the same time every afternoon we get a thunderstorm for a period we would have hail every afternoon, spot on the dot, for almost um, about a week we had a regular hail storm. Now it isn't unnormal to have hail here but consistently like that, yeah it's a bit strange and it wasn't just here, you know it was happening in, you know, across the state in Australia so it's, yeah, very strange but in saying that, um, you know, checking, checking the radars and whatnot just before all these storms and there'd be times when they were actually predicted not to have anything it would just suddenly change so you would see these actual weird radar anomalies which was also noted um, prior to all these massive hurricanes and whatnot that we had earlier in the year that hit the US and South America and you know, I think even Europe, Africa it was copying it everywhere so probably you know, Indonesia yeah, and they were, they were all sort of circling around Antarctica, these hurricanes, and then they would just drift off out of there and hit all these places. But you would see these radar anomalies come up. And it sort of, I'll, I'll put some pictures up anyway, but it would actually have these lines, and they'd sort of be heading off into the direction where the storm is, but it wasn't always necessarily following wind direction either, or where you would assume they would go following jet streams. So it's, um, you know, a big question is, you know, are they modifying the weather and directing these storms? Are they, you know, what, what's the purpose of it? Is it um, acts of war? Is, you know, is this what you know, countries are doing now if they've got the technology to do all this? You know, they, there's patents, there have been programs for it, it's been public, it's been denied. They also say that they can do this on Mars right now if they wanted to. They'd be able to rebuild the climb the atmosphere so um, <laughs> if they can do that there then they can do it here so that could be the new thing you know start deteriorating your enemy by natural causes and make it hard to be able to tell if it's a natural phenomena or you know they've done it so very strange indeed so hopefully <laughs> it's, it is just all coincidences and, and strange phenomena appearing but then you know in saying that as well what is it you know no one no one can explain it so if it's not being man-made you know they need to do some research into it and see what the heck's going on anyway because it's obviously a good indicator of what's yet to come and where it's going to hit so you know use it as a, a method of weather prediction but 
I don't know, leave some comments. Um, you know, be sure I've been getting a lot of messages to sort of touch on these topics. Everyone's, you know, seems to find it a, a quite interesting subject. Um, you know, it's I have seen a, a lot of stuff out there for all these, and don't you know, didn't want to sort of join on that bandwagon. But hey, it makes a great topic. Get some good discussions going, and so why not? So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what sort of other things that I might be able to look up as well, and keep an eye out for it. So, um, you know, chemtrails is a big discussion as well. It's something I've actually been looking at as well. It's, you know, from monitoring them as you see them in the day and even checking radar apps for for plane flights and seeing you know, that it's not even a registered flight. You know, it's at strange heights that you know, regular flights wouldn't be taking on those paths and and then watching these trails actually develop into sometimes cells of storms so I don't know yeah definitely definitely let me know what you think might do um, delve into that a bit more I uh, did get a photo and a little bit of a video the other day of it so I'll, so I'll include that into here as well and see what you think I know we might have come across some some weather experts who could just drop by on this video so but yeah let, let me know or send me a message drop a comment uh, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I have plenty more videos to come. Videos every fortnight of motorcycles and motor vlogs. So, and, um, and lots of different topics. So hit that like button. Thanks for joining me. And if you're right out there, stay safe and keep the rubber side down.